Jones of the U.S., Jacob's latest opposition, only 23, but trying to save his career from a slide, really, after being the world's number one contender. And that was only, what, just two years ago. So Wilk will return to the Royal Albert Hall then for the Scott Southport champion, Gary Jacobs, and that great fight, of course, last April, defeating George Collins. Uh, the, the real strength of uh, Rollin Williams from Phoenix, Arizona. But he did have a very good win over Tommy Ayers, 12-rounder for the American uh, USBA Championship. And then he was stopped in one round by a Puerto Rican, Eric Fernandez, in the Arizona State Championship. So I'm not sure whether that's sufficient credentials to stand a real chance with Jacobs, who's so on top of his game at the moment, Jim. I mean, he really is confident. What a change about yeah, well, I think uh, from the exchange of management, uh, it's given him, a lot, given him a lot of confidence working under Bobby Neal. He's uh, showing him the moves in the gym, and uh, Jacobs is enjoying his boxing. We are looking forward to putting the moves into action. Certainly the most improved fighter in the country. Yeah, the boxing riders wanted that too. They wrote it in the best young boxer of the year, the, the boxing riders club. And so far, he's, uh, well, he's stood up to that one all right. The referee, former... I don't know like Dave Paris from London. Oh, now let's see how this American's going to cope with this. He's 23 this week, same age as Jacob, actually a few months younger. And Jacob's his early pro career always felt his approach work needed a bit more attention. He had trouble getting into punching range without being hit. Sometimes he's still a little bit crude the way he moves in, but he's not as easy to hit as he looks. I, I think he's got a bit of a stout chin as well, Jim. He's never been down. That's always a good sign that some stage in their preliminary career has often tried to take the count, but uh, certainly Jacobs hasn't. And uh, manager Mike Barrett now really pushing for his chances to get in, into that top ten. He's WBC international champion. Uh, got to be in the first 30 to get in that lot. And he's won in Las Vegas. In fact, they both fought the same opponent, Xavier Suazo, and Williams lost to him, and uh, Jacob knocked him out in 10 to win that WBC international version. Well, different type of fight, obviously, for Jacobs than uh, George Collins. He could read him all right. He's not too sure what he's going to do with this fellow, but he's certainly tracking him well, Jim. Yeah, he's keeping him under a steady pressure, uh, just taking his time. Uh, Williams is a little bit negative at this point, but obviously it's early days. Oh, that left hook's gone in, and his head banged on the canvas there. Now, Dave Parrish, you see, they don't get the mandatory eight count, the Americans. They get very confused by that. And we really have got to straighten that out, and it's all over. And certainly Williams is not going to enjoy that one, but no, he's protesting. I thought he would. We had this with Paris, actually, uh, with an American heavyweight at the Albert Hall. But Jacob says, go away, it was me that hit you on the chin, and you really don't want any more of that, do you? And he's got to be restrained by the look of it. And uh, manager Jerry Howe is in there saying, behave yourself, there's nothing we can do about it. And I don't suppose Jacob would mind if they said, all right, let him go on if he wants to. But that's it, referee's decision is final. It certainly was a good shot then. Yeah, well, both knockdowns came from good punches from Jacobs. And each time Williams got up far too quickly, obviously expecting the count. So he's the first of the left hand, which was probably the better punch of the two. Yep, lovely. His head banged on the canvas as he went over. That was a good left-hand punch. And there it is again. Now we'll see that winding up. And that's the second knockdown. Again, it was a punch that put him over. A right hook this time. They got up too quickly again. The referee has a good look at his eyes. Decides he's not fit to get 